Hill sits out the center of the spine. You know, the fans are very impressed. Many of them seeing these luchadors from CMLL for the first time, but they're very impressed with the wrestlers from AEW, the fight that they have taken to them. And they have taken it to them. They certainly haven't. A master Dorada and we're seeing him that kick to the ribs. Daddy Magic backbreaker. Hey, Magic's feeling it here tonight. I guess logically, if you take the fight to them, right, you to the CMLL Luchadors, then you kind of just, I don't know, slow them down, what well, they can do. Angelo Parker there just stomped on the Achilles of Mascara Dorada. Certainly an attempt to slow him down. Yeah. And Angelo Parker now, backbreaker again, and Dorada able to kick out. And for fans that may be unfamiliar with these luchadors, you see the name Volador Jr., you would imagine that, of course, you're right, there was a Volador. He is the son of Volador, but professional wrestling in the families, in the blood of all four men on the CMLL side, all, all four men, multi-generational professional wrestlers. Or come from multi-generational professional wrestling families, I should say. Sure, and there's a lot of those in Mexico. It certainly is. It's, it's almost like the family trade. That's right. Daniels applying pressure. Tony, I like this strategy. Single out the youngest and therefore the least experienced right. of the other side. And the backbreaker seems to be the move of the day for the AEW contingent. Lateral press, two, and... Again, Dorada able to kick out. The, the team of uh, Parker, Menard, Seidel, and Daniels, a little cocky here. Well, they've done a great job of controlling the pace, Tony. And, you know, the early goings of this match was definitely something that would favor the Luchadors. But now, as the pace has slowed down, it definitely favors the AEW side. And that is four separate backbreakers, I believe, on Mascara Dorada. Seidel, he was looking for that bow and arrow and now punishing the spine of Dorada as Boulder Jr. trying to encourage, trying to encourage Mascara Dorada on, but man, the AEW side, Tony, and this is not, not home cooking. They are, they are looking good here. I, I think they're great. I, 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 they've wrestled a tremendous match. Sound strategy. Joel Parker, the cover. And you know, Excalibur, they've done this based on the fact that all four men have kind of, you mentioned this earlier, they've really not teamed together as a as an eight-man tag team. This is the first time ever. Yeah. And they're working quite well together. Angelo Parker is holding Christopher Daniels open. Daniels, he didn't want a cheap shot. Instead, he's just applying the abdominal stretch. Look at this. Oh. Now, this is teamwork. Well, maybe he didn't want the cheap shot, but he's getting an assist. <laughs> Whether he likes it or not, and Aubrey Edwards perhaps on the verge of losing control of this match. I think she's doing a great job. She's trying her best, and it's got to be difficult with eight guys, or even eight, eight women. Eight people. Eight people, sorry. Thank you very much. Gender's only a construct, Tony. We are back here tonight on Rampage. Red Hot main event. Team CMLL versus Team AEW. It has been all the AEW side for the past few moments, but Mascara Dorada just turned things around on Matt Seidel. Corkscrew kick. Where did he get this from? And Dorada tags in Echicero. Christopher Daniels tags in for the AEW side. And Echicero, you can see just Laying in some heavy shots on Christopher Daniels, and now, nice trip there. Taking Daniels over. Oh, what a knee! That Cicero caught Seidel completely by surprise on that one. Man, that Cicero's a brute, brother. That Cicero goes over the ropes, and look at this, in the ropes, the sleeper is locked on. Taking advantage of the five count. Breaks before the disqualification from referee Aubrey Edwards. This big guy's gonna take flight too. And now the mad scientist coming off. And that just, oh wait. Oh, roundhouse <laughs> kick by side out. Oh man. 
Man, things are breaking down here. Oh, that's a Cerro shotgun drop kick. And returns to Christopher Daniels. Daniels, backslide, no, rolls through, Hechicero, oh! Flatliner, and Daniels rolls over. And you win it with a submission, oh, look at this. Uh-oh. Oh, but now things are breaking down as Mystico and Voldor Jr. enter against Menard and Parker. Voldor and Menard and Parker lowering their heads. Sensational main event, man. Just all eight, man. All both teams. Mystico taking down Menard and Parker. And now Volador Jr. the tope on Parker and Mystico. Do that. Top and down goes Danny Magic. <laughs> As Mascara Dorana coming off the top, the Tornillo into the arm drag side out. His momentum took him to the outside, and Mascara Dorada over the top, <laughs> wiping out the pile. Even a little friendly fire there. Absolutely. Down goes Mistico as well. And now Christopher Daniels. Echicero, the last two men standing. Daniels looking for Angel's wings. Echicero counters out of it. And oh! <laughs> and rising knee strike. Now, look at this. Echicero rolls through. He's got Daniels. Take, taking him all the way around the ring. The cover, two, and three. Wow. The winners of this match are Diva Mystico, Bullador Jr., Echicero, and Mascara Durrata. Big time win for the CMLL contingent tonight in our Rampage main event. The man that scored the pinfall, Hechicero, goes on to collision tomorrow night, 8, 7 Central on TNT to face the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Plus, Brian Keith challenges Eddie Kings in a proving ground match for the Continental Crown. Queen Aminata returns to action to go one-on-one -on -one with Serena Deeb and Christian Cage of the Patriarchy face FTR and Daniel Garcia in a trios match. Then next Wednesday night, Dynamite Live, 8, 7 Central on TBS from Phoenix is absolutely stacked. Sting and Darby Allen challenge absolutely Ricky Starks and Big Bill for the EW World Tag Team Championship in a tornado match. Chris Jericho faces Kanosuke Takeshita, Swerve Strickland, Hangman Adam Page one-on-one -on -one with the winner. Moving on to Revolution to face Samoa Joe for the EW World Championship. Voldemort Jr., Mascara Dorada, and Hechicero face Brian Danielson, Claudio Castagnoli, and John Moxley. And Red Velvet faces Timeless Tony Storm in an eliminator match with Deanna Perazzo, Tony Storm's opponent at Revolution on commentary. And Tony Khan has a major announcement.